What will Dan's winter and great Alibaba are going to do? How are they going to prove against their plaintiff? Why does this both Chinese companies counterfeiting and trying to steal the intellectual property of the US based companies? To know the answer to all the questions, just stick to the end of the video. On Feb 17, 2022, The United States Trade Representative releasing a notification of their findings of some notorious markets for counterfeiting and piracy. The notorious markets list highlights online and physical markets that reportedly engage in order to facilitate substantial trademark counterfeiting or copyright privacy. On that press release, the USTR ambassador Catherine Tai mentioned as the global trade is counterfeit and pirated goods undermines critical US innovation and creativity and harms american workers this illicit trade also increases the vulnerability of the workers involved in the manufacturing of the counterfeit goods to exploitative labor practices and the counterfeit goods can pose significant risk to the health and the safety of the consumers and workers around the world This finding of the notorious markets both via offline and online are observed since 2006 by the Special 301 report. The USTR has published annually the notorious markets list separately from the Special 301 report to increase public awareness and help market operators and governments prioritize intellectual property enforcement efforts that protect American business and their workers. The notorious markets list does not constitute an exhaustive list of all markets reported to deal in order to facilitate commercial scale copyright piracy or trademark counterfeiting nor does it reflect findings of the legal violations or the US government's analysis of the general intellectual property protection and enforcement climate in the country concerned Such analysis is contained in the annual special 301 report issued at the end of the April each year. Since Biden Harris administration, it focused on the worker-centered trade policy. The 2021 notorious markets list issue focus section examines the adverse impact of the counterfeiting on the workers involved in the manufacture of the counterfeit goods. The section describes how the illicit nature of the counterfeiting requires coordination between the relevant actors in order to effectively uncover and combat labor violations in counterfeiting operations across the globe. The 2021 notorious market list also identifies 42 online markets and 35 physical markets that are reported to engage in order to facilitate substantial trademark counterfeiting or copyright piracy this includes identifying for the first time aliexpress and the wechat e-commerce ecosystem two significant china based online markets that reportedly facilitate substantial trademark counterfeiting Also, China-based online markets Baidu, Wangpan, DHgate and Pinduoduo and Dobabo continue to be listed as well as nine physical markets located within China that are known for the manufacture distribution and sales of the counterfeit goods. Alibaba proclaimed it will continue working with the government agencies to address concerns in intellectual property protection across its platforms. and the press release the alibaba state that preserving the integrity of the alibaba marketplace is a top priority counterfeiting is global and industry wide issue and effective collaboration with brands retailers trade associations governments and other industry partners is a key component to our overall success said matthew baisul the vice president and the head of the global ip enforcement at alibaba group IECC International Anti-Counterfeiting Coalition membership will further enhance our earnest efforts to fight to forge close relationship with brands as we continue to explore and implement innovative solution to address counterfeiting. We strongly value our partnership with IECC and its members and are proud to be the part of prestigious coalition. 
industry bodies like the American Apparel and Footwear Association and the Motion Picture Association welcomed the release of the report by the USTR, seeing as a gesture of the Biden administration for helping to prevent their intellectual properties. The USTR also on its former report alerts US needs to pursue new strategies and updates its domestic trade deals to deal with the China state-led non-market policies and practices. And to be mentioned indeed, the US and China has been pursuing its trade tension for years over the issues like tariffs, technology and intellectual property among others. What will be the leading companies of China going to do? What are the steps that they take to encounter the charges among them? Time is going to answer these questions. Hope you all like this video. If you do like them, then just do subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. Any comments about this video are warmly welcomed here.